Chapter 85 The Lord calms down the people. With the Pharisees realising that the people saw through them, and that they now were the subject of derision, they began to spawn thoughts of retribution. I therefore said to the people, Let them be, for they themselves are blind leaders of the blind, and where they come to a ditch with their charges, they fall into the ditch together with those they lead. In a land where they hold dominion as superiors, they can do you more harm than you can do them. But now you set them a trap, where they can easily fall in the ditch more so than yourselves. For they bragged of having sold a cursed grain to the Romans and Greeks for damnation. If you report this to the Roman chief, He will have them all over the barrel for it. But it ought in no way to come to that. But we intend retiring into the house for now, and I shall try to make also this spiritually totally bat-blind lot to see. Following which, I move into the house and the Pharisees follow me at once, and are inside greeted by my disciples. But behind them a huge crowd followed as well, so that it came to a great crush inside the room. This, however, did not matter over much, as I and the disciples still had plenty of room. When things quieted down inside the house, I opened my mouth and began to speak, mainly to the Pharisees, since I saw their evil thoughts only too well and clearly. That it has come to this with you, no one is to blame other than yourselves. Have you not, of a truth, been with these people here in Gisera these thirty years? yet not noticed their kind of spirit. Now it is, at this time, too late to again force the wakeful spirit of these people into sleep. Your anger is therefore a vain one, for you and no one else is responsible. I came here as an authentic Jew, and as such, truly in full possession of God's Spirit and all its power. When I came to shore, and you were enticed by the fire on the boat to rush to shore with the people, I healed the blind, dumb and possessed before your eyes. The people instantly recognised the divine power in me and greeted me as David's son. You yourselves, internally, recognised it the same way. Since, however, you deemed such recognition to set limitations upon yourselves, in everything, you asserted against your inner convictions, such deeds I carry out with the assistance of the devils as chief. Who was it you harmed therewith? See, no one other than yourselves. Had you only thought about this thing with greater openness, examining it more closely, you should have instantly seen the sheer absurdity of your assertion, recognising therewith that with this most untimely and foolish assertion, you of necessity lost the last shred of integrity and faith from this awoken population.
Say the Pharisees. What then should we have done? Tell us, since you are so clever. I said in a somewhat more sombre tone, You should have thought, judged, and spoken thus. Every nation that is divided against itself perishes. And every city or household at odds with itself cannot endure. This surely can be grasped with the hand. If I, however, being a perfect Jew too, according to your assertion, cast out devils through Beeslebub, then tell me through whom actually do your children, who even now travel every country as saviours, healing the sick and casting out devils? I say unto you, your children too, and not only these people, shall be your judges. If I nevertheless, as clearly understood by this population, cast out the devils through God's Spirit, then the kingdom indeed has come unto you. For which reason you, as Jews, should be particularly happy in front of the Greeks, who are heathens since this sign re-establishes the Jews' privilege which they had lost for already a long time. For only in this way can the authentic Jew show the whole world that he alone is the man upon this wide earth who stands in manifest association with God. Working deeds through the might of God's Spirit that are possible to no other man. When the outsiders see such in a Jew, they shall congregate around the mighty Jew by the thousand times thousands and say, The Jew alone is of God. Through him works God's omnipotence most miraculously. He is powerful and wise and shall be our Lord forever. If then the true Jew ever shows himself thus strong, then his entire household and nation ought to be that strong. How could anyone then enter such a strong man's house to rob him of its contents? Be it that he first binds the strong one, which is impossible, and then robs the contents, as the Romans actually have done to us in our house finding us drunk and asleep in our house, binding, robbing and making us slaves, which serves the Jews right, as they have departed from God completely. But God has mercy on his people, and again wants to help them. Wherefore, I have been sent to you from God. Since, however, as you can see for yourselves, This now obviously is the case. Why do you scatter where I am gathering? For he who is not for me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters and manifestly is against the Spirit of God, who wants to make you free. Wherefore I say unto you, after all that has already come over you. All sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven man, but never so the blasphemy against God's Spirit. For you knew quite well that I healed the possessed through God's Spirit, but for despicable worldly gain and honour, you nevertheless blasphemed against God's Spirit in me, wanting to save you, and thus you have received the deserved reward also from the heathens. Say the Pharisees, We did not blaspheme God's Spirit, but only yourself, 
And you yourself surely are not with flesh and blood going to be the Spirit of God. For you are no more than ourselves, a son of man. I said, Yes, indeed, that I am by appearance. But in reality, perhaps, somewhat more. But if I am no more than a son of man like you, that does not excuse your blasphemy in the least. For I, as a son of man, surely am not working such deeds any more than you. But within this Son of Man standing before you, the Spirit of God alone is manifesting, and it is this One against whom you have blasphemed. For not I, but God's Spirit, has accomplished such before your eyes, and you blasphemed against it. Indeed, whosoever speaks against me as a mere human, such shall be forgiven. But he who speaks against the Holy Spirit, such shall not be forgiven, neither here nor in the beyond. Because where a tree is by its whole nature already bad, there the fruit also is bad. But if a tree is already by its nature good, its fruit also shall be good. You are the tree, and there, the Jews turned into heathens, are your fruit. Judge for yourselves whether it is good or bad, 